From structures clinging to sheer cliffs to bridges stretching across the clouds, China has built over one million engineering marvels across treacherous terrains, proving its extraordinary ability to conquer nature. Behind these monumental works lies a journey that combines science, courage, and the boundless ambition of humankind. But how did the Chinese manage to create wonders, standing hundreds of meters above the ground, and turn rugged mountain peaks into symbols of modern engineering? In this video, join Mandarin Tech as we explore China's most breathtaking achievements, where these masterpieces rise in harmony with the grandeur of nature. The Great Wall of China is one of the most magnificent man-made structures ever built by humankind. Over the centuries, it is estimated that more than one million people lost their lives during its construction, making it not only a wall of bricks and stones, but also a monument built from human sweat and lives. Stretching over 21, 196 kilometers, the wall runs through 15 provinces and autonomous regions of China, crossing rugged mountains, deep rivers, and vast barren deserts, extending across the majestic landscape of ancient China. It is not only the largest military defense system in human history, but also a symbol of the organizational capacity and engineering prowess of ancient Chinese civilization. The construction of the Great Wall began in the 7th century BC and continued to expand through multiple dynasties. During the building process, ancient workers used rammed earth, stones, fired bricks, and sticky rice mortar. A traditional mixture with strong adhesive properties thanks to amylopectin, which helped the wall endure for thousands of years. Atop the wall stand battlements, watchtowers, and beacon stations arranged at regular intervals, where soldiers once lit fires to signal incoming invasions. This system formed an advanced military communication network, allowing messages to travel hundreds of kilometers within minutes, often referred to as the ancient internet of the feudal era. After enduring wars, the passage of time, and the relentless erosion of nature, many sections of the wall have now collapsed or lie buried beneath desert sands. Nevertheless, the remaining portions still embody the architectural skill and unwavering determination of the ancient people. In 1987, the Great Wall of China was designated a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site, becoming a symbol of the extraordinary labor and unity of the Chinese people. Today it stands as one of the seven great wonders of the world, attracting millions of visitors each year, both a witness to history and a testament to humanity's enduring desire to surpass its own limits. One of the most impressive ancient wonders of China is the Hanging Temple of Mount Heng, also known as Xuan Kong Temple. Built more than 1,500 years ago, it is a monastery located on a nearly 90-degree cliff, standing 246 feet above the ground. Not only is it situated on a magnificent cliffside, but it is also the only temple that combines the three traditional philosophies of China, Buddhism, Taoism, and Confucianism, and is regarded as the pinnacle of ancient architectural art. The Hanging Temple covers a total area of about 125 square meters, with a length of 104 feet, divided into three main sections and containing more than 40 rooms. Inside the temple, there are 80 artworks carved from bronze, iron, clay, and stone. The highlight of Xuankong Temple's architecture is the Guanyin Hall, which enshrines a statue of the Bodhisattva Guanyin, standing 81 feet tall and made of 24 tons of bronze. From a distance, the temple and the cliff appear to merge into one, as if they were born from the very heart of the mountain. Every detail, from the wooden pillars and tiled roofs to the crimson painted door frames, reflects the craftsmanship and timeless wisdom of the ancients. The atmosphere here brings a feeling that is both solemn and tranquil, as if completely separated from the noisy world outside. With its architectural, historical, and spiritual values preserved for more than a millennium, Zhuang Kong Temple is not only a symbol of ancient Chinese engineering, but also a living testament to the faith and aspiration of humankind to rise before the grandeur of nature. In 2010, this structure was officially recognized by UNESCO as a World Cultural Heritage Site, 
affirming its rightful place as one of the most extraordinary wonders ever created by humankind. Continuing the journey across China's rugged mountain peaks, on the sacred Mount Fanjing, rising 8,130 feet high in Guizhou Province, stand two small yet world-famous temples, Shakyamuni Temple and Maitreya Temple. They face each other atop the New Golden Summit, also known as the Red Cloud Golden Summit, connected by a narrow stone bridge spanning a deep chasm hundreds of feet below, creating the image of two temples floating among the clouds a site often described by visitors as a miracle of Chinese Buddhism. The construction of two temples on the same mountain peak holds profound meaning. Shakyamuni, the Buddha of the present, and Maitreya, the Buddha of the future, symbolizing the flow of time and the endless cycle of reincarnation. The architecture of the two temples is modest, each covering only a few dozen square meters. Yet they are built on a split rock foundation rising dramatically into the sky. Between the two temples, the Gold Sword Gorge Bridge stretches like a slender ribbon of stone across the abyss, linking faith and wisdom, past and future. For hundreds of years, monks and maintenance workers have carried each brick and wooden plank up the mountain on their shoulders, as no mechanical road reaches the summit. This devotion and hardship led UNESCO to recognize Mount Fanjing as a World Natural Heritage Site in 2018 not only for its stunning landscape, but also for its profound spiritual value. Today, Mount Fanjing has become a renowned destination for both pilgrimage and tourism. Every year, hundreds of thousands of people climb more than 8,188 stone steps to reach the new golden summit and pay homage to the two small temples suspended among the clouds. Known as the real-life version of a fantasy world, Wangxian Valley in Jiangxi Province, China, is famous for its cliffside hanging houses. This site was once an abandoned quarry and has now been revitalized with an investment of over 2.6 billion yuan to become a unique ecological resort. In the first quarter of 2025 alone, Wangxian Valley welcomed more than 615,000 visitors and generated 120 million yuan in revenue becoming a symbol of the remarkable transformation of modern Chinese tourism. Hundreds of wooden houses, homestays, and cafes are built directly against the mountainside using a hidden steel frame system. From a distance, the entire town seems to cling to the cliffs, layered harmoniously amid the forest. The architecture is designed to blend with the terrain, using local materials such as wood, stone, and gray tiles, combined with natural lighting to create a warm and inviting atmosphere. By day, Wangxian Valley carries the peaceful charm of a mountain village. Sunlight glimmers on the wooden roofs, reflecting off the pale limestone walls, making the landscape appear pure and full of vitality. In contrast to this tranquil green scenery, the entire valley seems to transform at night. Thousands of lanterns illuminate the balconies and walkways, casting a golden glow through the evening mist, making the houses appear to float gently among the clouds. The contrast between day and night makes Wangxian Valley never repeat itself, and in both moments, it still retains the rustic yet vibrant beauty of a valley reborn amid the mountains of China. Among the five great mountains of China, Mount Hua, also known as Huashan, is considered the most perilous, where nature and human spirit test each other in equal measure. Located south of Huayan City in Shanxi Province, this mountain is famous for its nearly vertical cliffs, narrow wooden plank paths hanging over deep chasms, and ancient temples shrouded in clouds all year round. Mount Hua has five main peaks, east, west, south, north, and central, often compared to five giant lotus petals blooming between heaven and earth. The landscape shifts with every passing hour, fiery at dawn, silver at noon, and tinged with mystic hues by dusk. For thousands of years, Taoist monks have chosen Mount Hua as a place for meditation and retreat, believing it to be a sacred intersection between heaven and earth, where divine energy gathers. What makes Huashan legendary is not only its beauty, but its danger. The path to the summit was once dubbed the most dangerous trail in the world. Pilgrims had to cling to iron chains and step across wooden planks only inches wide, 
with nothing but a bottomless abyss below. Today, cable cars and steel stairways make the ascent less perilous. Yet the spirit of Hua Shan, its awe, challenge, and timeless mystery remains unchanged. From rugged cliffs and ancient temples, the journey unfolds into a realm of modern marvels, where bridges like the Ruyi Bridge seem to float in midair, merging advanced engineering with the majestic beauty of nature. Located in Zhejiang Province, China, the Ruyi Bridge stands as one of the most striking architectural works in the country today. The bridge stretches about 328 feet in length and hangs 460 feet above the ground, spanning the Shengxianju Gorge, an area famed for its rocky mountains and year-round mist. Viewed from above, the bridge resembles a flowing ribbon suspended in the sky, inspired by the shape of a Ruyi, a traditional Chinese symbol of good fortune and prosperity. What makes the Ruyi Bridge truly captivating is its unique three-layer curved design. Two main steel decks intertwine with a transparent glass walkway at the center. The deck is made of thick, tempered glass panels that allow visitors to look straight down into the deep gorge below. This structure not only evokes a thrilling sense of adventure, but also showcases the precision of modern construction, where every curved steel beam and suspended glass panel was assembled with accuracy down to the inch. Visitors walking across the bridge can take in the panoramic view of Shengxianju below. Lush forests, cascading waterfalls, and steep cliffs stretching into the distance. The image of the Rui Bridge shimmering through the mountain mist quickly went viral after its opening, attracting hundreds of thousands of visitors each year. Alongside the Rui Bridge, the Beipenjing Bridge stands as another testament to China's world-class bridge engineering, stretching boldly across some of the most magnificent gorges on Earth. Also known as the Nizhu River Bridge, it connects Yunnan and Guizhou provinces, spanning the Beipan River Valley, one of the deepest and most treacherous river canyons in southwest China. With a height of over 1,800 feet from the river to the deck, it once held the title of the world's highest bridge, symbolizing both technological mastery and the vision of modern infrastructure. The Beipanjiang Bridge measures 4,399 feet in total length, with a main span of 2,262 feet and is designed as a massive cable-stayed bridge supported by two giant towers. The vast network of suspension cables supports the bridge deck, allowing vehicles to travel steadily at an altitude comparable to a 200-story building. Today, the Beipanjiang Bridge is not only an important part of the Hangzhou-Kunming Expressway, but also a tourism symbol of southwest China. Thousands of visitors come to admire the spectacular scenery, where clouds, mountains, and the giant steel bridge merge into one. Under the glow of the setting sun, the entire metal structure reflects shades of red and orange, appearing like a ribbon suspended in midair. A living testament to humanity's enduring desire to conquer nature. From temples clinging to sheer cliffs to modern bridges stretching across gorges and valleys, China has built a breathtaking collection of architectural wonders. Each structure, whether ancient or contemporary, stands as living proof of human imagination, perseverance, and the extraordinary desire to conquer nature. These marvels also carry profound cultural, spiritual, and historical meaning. They reflect how humanity coexists with nature, respecting it while leaving a distinct mark, passing down to future generations a legacy of pride and endless inspiration. If you want to keep exploring more of China's and the world's great wonders, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Mandarin Tech, where we uncover the magnificent works of human ingenuity and the stories hidden behind every masterpiece.